My name is Malcolm Klimovich. Those who know me know that I have spent many years fighting animal cruelty on fur farms. I have organized anti-fur protests in Collins, handed out leaflets on the street, sent petitions to the Ontario legislature, and lobbied politicians. Recently, I organized several animal rights groups to campaign for a ban on fur farming. Throughout this whole process, reporters, political figures, and the public have repeatedly asked me for proof that animals are being mistreated. Through my research, I learned that many animal rights groups were infiltrating and video recording fur farms in their home countries. The footage often led to public outrage, political action, and legislation change, even the banning of fur farming in many places. Just this past week, Norway announced that they are making fur farming illegal and shutting down over 280 farms. Wearing fur is one of the most controversial issues of our time. It is condemned by a huge section of the public, but the industry says the animals live humanely. What is the truth about fur? I wanted to find out for myself. So from June to August 2017, I set out with my video camera and infiltrated five mink factory farms in southern Ontario. I walked through swamps, hopped electric fences and barbed wire, hid from security guards, and was chased by attack dogs to obtain these videos. I even discovered a puppy mill. The industry takes great lengths to hide the neglect and cruelty these animals suffer. I hope that by giving the public a window into Ontario fur farms that it sparks people into action to do something to help these animals. The government has turned a blind eye because the public has not held politicians accountable. There have been no inspections of any fur farm in the past six years. I recorded violations of the National Farm Animal Care Council codes of practice and overt animal neglect in violation of the OSPCA Act at multiple farms. This isn't the case of one bad apple farm. Animal neglect is the industry standard. Even if the industry was following the codes of practices, the animals would still suffer from stereotypical behavior, frustration and stress from this malicious form of captivity. These videos are recorded illegally and at great risk to myself. Please share them and help end Ontario fur farming.